Hey guys, it's Justin with 702pros.com here. In this video, I'm going to show you local business owners how to add NAP to your website. You may be asking yourself, what is NAP? Well, NAP is name, address, and phone number of your business. Things like Google, Bing, and Yahoo are looking at these NAPs uh, on every page of your website. And they're going to rank those pages for uh, certain terms that correlate with that type of business. I'm on the, the front page of my website, and I'm going to go down to the bottom and show you the footer where I have my NAP information. Okay, so this is what it looks like. This is what I'm talking about. This is what it looks like to a visitor to the website. Um, so it has the name of the business, a description right here, uh, address, and then phone number at the bottom you're not just going to write it in like this we're going to do it with html but it's going to be schema markup and schema is like the hub for data structured information that search engines use um, to to tell like their crawling robots what that information is so i'm going to it all this boils down to uh, full disclosure to google what your business is about because at the end of the day uh, search engines like Google want to give their customers the best results possible and how they do that is a lot of this structured data so I created a, uh, a test page and I took that uh, the NAP information the the markup the HTML for it and I put it on this page here and we're just gonna go over it real quick and don't worry if you're just blown away by this and you're like okay I you know I'm not gonna be able to do this I'm gonna have a link to my to a blog post that I wrote for this and you can uh, just copy this this uh, code put it on your site and you're good to go and just you know plug in your information of course <laughs> but let's just go over this real quick this first item is the it's called the item scope so when a uh, when a Google bot goes over your site when they see this item scope it directly goes to the end then it sees local business so it knows that is the the data you're talking about the structured data um, so then everything inside this item scope is pertaining to a local business um, the, the second item is so item props those are um, properties of the item scope okay so that's item property and the property is a name and then the name is 702 pros so that's the name of the business and then this next item is a description of the business and here's some description information so the next item is item property is address and then this is a like a sub item scope because this is the postal address so this is you're gonna have properties underneath this postal address so um, the postal address and then the first property of that is street address and then you have address locality which is the the city and then postal code and then address region which is Nevada and then the last item is telephone number so we have that in there copy this code put in your information put in the foot of your website and then um, it, it'll take a few weeks but Google will start to find this information and you will start to raise in uh, in the local business results local search results uh, I'm gonna have that blog post ready for you guys if you thought this video was uh, insightful if you got some information out of it if you thought it was helpful for you please uh, press the like button leave a comment if you have any questions and if you want to see some more videos on local marketing local SEO uh, regular SEO uh, web design and uh, graphic design videos please uh, subscribe to my channel okay Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.